Welcome back, everybody, to FWIP on the Blitzcraft server. Right now, I believe it's time to get ourselves a familiar, because I know that Mr. Knight, not only is he very tricksy and teleporting me places, but he already has his own witch's coven, and I believe the only way to prove our worth, in fact, is to start another ritual. Now, we need to right-click this one to stop the one we had going, which would infuse us. Which is too bad, but it's only going to cost us a potion of regeneration to start that again, which should be fine. So we need a Tear of the Goddess, an Odor of Purity, a Diamond, a Whiff of Magic, and of course, Demonic Blood, which comes from a Demon's Heart, as well as 8,000 Altar Power. Well, let's a go, because I know we've got that. I need to stand in the circle with my cat, of course. And it has been transformed! Bloody hell, these Endermen don't leave me alone. Hello, Binks! My new cat familiar. If you're wondering where these Endermen are coming from, gosh, these purple sp flowers started sprouting places ever since we killed the dragon, and it's kind of an issue. Because apparently Endermen spawn on these flowers. Okay, Binks, my new friend with a... with an octopus for a head. Uh, come with me. Now, you, of course, have in fact 50 health. That's very good. Uh, okay, I'm going to head over here. I hope my cat teleports to me. Yes, okay, now you come with me through the blackout curtain, if you can. We're going to keep you in my witchery room. Come here. Here, Binks. Here, here, Binks. Um, if I'm lucky, this will work on you. It does. That's kind of awesome. You stay here, okay? Actually, if I can just capture the, you, you can stay here by yourself. Where's that witch? I know I had a witchy friend. You there. Haha! <laughs> -ha. Bring me the means to control the dead. Speak to me again if you accept. The means to control the dead. And then she will join my coven. Well, Morgana Blackwood, you have a pretty cool name. Uh, let's see the future. Whip will chance upon the undead. Okay, I guess that means it'll work. All right, so how do we make a necromantic stone? Uh, well, that's what we need to do to gain this witch's uh, aid. Right of infusion. Let's see here. Infuse a crystal ball stone. Soaring. Creates a necromantic stone. Need to do it at night. I need a tune stone, a bone, rotten flesh, wood ash, iron sword, spectral dust. Well... Do I have an attuned stone? It doesn't say it needs a charged one. Uh, do I have spectral dust? That I don't actually know. We could have traded with some villagers to get it. Yes, we do. We have a spectral dust. Good. Let's get rid of these uh, death flowers if we can. Good. Okay, so to make an attuned stone is the first step in getting this witch's aid. So, an attuned stone, as we all know, is just whiff of magic, diamond, and that. That's the thing about things like witchery and the other things I've gotten to. Um, as long as you have enough diamonds that you don't care about using three in every recipe, then uh, you're pretty good to go. All right, we'll grab ourselves a diamond, we'll grab ourselves that. So what can Binks, our familiar, do besides getting the witches to recognize me as one of their own? Well, as a pet... It allows me to create the curse that will destroy everybody's voodoo protection poppets. Which would be good if I wanted to voodoo everybody, but at the same time, the cat familiar, I believe, also makes my curses stronger. Now, to be honest, I don't know what curses there are, besides making people think there are mobs when there aren't any, or cursing them with extreme bad luck. That one there might be one to go for. But, Personally, I if I'm going to curse anybody, it's going to be Knight for what he's done to me so far. He's given me quite some hard times. And uh, let's just say we need to get his... Well, okay, I need bone, rotten flesh, and wood ash. All right. Wood ash, rotten flesh, and a bone. As I was saying, we need to get his tag lock first. And uh, I have some ideas on how I can do that besides... Touching his bed. We need to go in there and get it from him, hopefully. But first, let's make this necromantic stone, see what happens. So, a tombstone, bone, rotten flesh, wood ash, iron sword as well. Okay. 
Hopefully we've got a ton of spares. Uh, let's go with one of these six extra ones. Very good. Okay, so if I was doing this, tombstone, wood ash, rotten flesh, sword bone. Okay. Uh, actually, the nice thing is I can get one of these night stones from the gravestone mod. Actually, I should probably put these on my house. Anywhere, really. And then, since I need it to be night, just stepping on this thing, turn it night immediately. That's pretty awesome. Did you know that you could silk touch those things from the crypt and bring them back home? I uh, yeah, didn't until I tried it. At the same time, I want some of these uh, four really big pieces of cobblestone. Just to even out the roof so it doesn't look forced. That's my thing, guys. It's got to look good, but it's got to be functional, too. That's exactly what this is now. There we go. Don't want to destroy the original structure. There we go. Personally, I don't know if I would use the necromantic stone for anything else myself. Alright, so we go with a tombstone, wood ash, bone, rotten flesh, iron sword, spectral dust. If we're lucky, we're about to get what we need. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure that this is the witch's uh, quest item. I hope I didn't need to speak to her again already, and then... Hello, witchy, what do you got? <laughs> I will join your coven. Call me when you have need. Ho-ho! <laughs> we... Succeeded in catching Morgana Blackwood. Da -da 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 -da. Okay, maybe not. Maybe not so bad as that. How about I meet you back when I find some more coven witches and figure out exactly what we can do with them? Now, I'm hoping Binx is going to be okay because I know it takes damage as I do. That's my main concern, but. Well, 50 HP. Hoping everything's going to be fine with her. It's totally a girl, don't even lie. Actually, the funny thing is, this was an orange cat, and it turned black, so... Oops. You didn't suddenly get damaged, eh? No. No. Okay, that's fine. Maybe it's more stronger than I anticipated. So, the nearest other witch, I believe, is in the Twilight Forest, so I'll meet you in a bit. Aradia Grimsman says, Defeat my pet and bring me its eye. Speak to me again if you accept. Your pet is Aradia Grimsman's pet. Uh, okay. <laughs> I will join your coven. Call me when you have need. Well, that was actually quite easy. Beat a very strong spider, and you've won. Alrighty. Uh, well, actually, the necromantic stone was the most difficult thing so far. So, let's get some more coven witches, and we'll figure out later what to do with them. Right now, I believe they are just friends that will kind of show up whenever I'm doing brewing for fun. I think. I, I don't know. This is witchery, right? I'm just one player trying to play in the game. Ooh, witch's circle. Maybe there's a witch around here I can find, if it hasn't already been killed. I must admit, I went on a bit of a rampage in my earlier youth, so I think she might be dead. Wait, no, maybe that's one right over there. Hello, what do you need, Mrs. Uh, <laughs> Crystal Shadowton? Defeat my pet and bring me its flesh. You betcha, and now I have to fight Crystal Shadowton's pet. Well, that's easy. And I unlocked the blue screen of Death Hat. Well, that's awesome. Now then, I specifically have Crystal Shadowton pet's flesh. That's funny. I will join your coven. Call me when you have need. Awesome! That's, uh, that's three witches already. Here's a fourth. I see Desmond. Bring me the means to control the dead. Speak to me again if you accept. Ah, uh, another one. I could leave her there, though. There's no real need for me to get her in specific specificity. Just saying. Um, the necromantic stone is a bit expensive. I mean, it's diamonds. 
Yeah, I'd really like another kill my pet kind of quest. How about you? I desire to protect the future. Speak to me again. Oh, I see. So, I need to get Winter Bat Bee by giving her her own crystal ball. That's not bad. I like, uh, I like variety, don't you? I mean, I mean, necromantic stone over and over again. That's kind of lame. However, creating a crystal ball should be not bad. I can set it back to night again. Um, you know, hopefully that'll be fine and dandy. I created that before, didn't I? Just take some quartz. Some sort of ritual. See, the funny thing is, before I had a familiar, I could do all this. So I'm not sure why they didn't trust me until I had my own pet. I'm not sure exactly what changed. Apparently I was not worthy before. Alright, so to infuse what we need, which is another crystal ball, which is fine. Uh, let's see here. Infuse a crystal ball. Quartz sphere, gold ingot, happenstance oil. Um, oh, happenstance oil. I might have messed myself up just slightly because needing another potion is actually more expensive, perhaps, than, uh, than anticipated. Alright, so let's leave that in my inventory for a minute and grab the Bruise and Infusions book. This is Flip's Adventure, where he gets fancy witch friends. Hooray! So, I need happenstance oil. Where are you, happenstance oil? Needs redstone soup. Okay, I don't think I have redstone soup. So we need to make that with a drop of luck. Do we have a drop of luck? That's the expensive part. Drop of luck comes from several sources, doesn't it? Actually, drop of luck, I believe, comes from... Uh, Something called Refined Evil. Let's leave Winter Bat be in my house again until I have fulfilled her quest. Wow. Besides, you know what? I know it's a little bit expensive. But to be honest, I would rather be doing this than the same thing over and over again because that's why quests are awesome. Alright, so Redstone Soup. This is very, very delicate. I've learned throughout my travels in the world that in actuality, uh, <laughs> the brews need to be in the exact order or you screw them up. So, we need redstone, drop of luck, wool of bat, probably a tongue of dog. That's fine. Redstone, drop of luck, and there's lots of bats, I got no shortage of them. Tongue of dog. I don't actually know if you can get more than one redstone soup, unfortunately. It may just be the sort of thing you can only get one of. Which is sort of a shame. I could really use some more of that. Yeah, Tongue of Dog, and Belladonna Flower, and Mandrake Root. I think I'm also getting a bit low on the Mandrake because I don't like harvesting that stuff. Not that it's dangerous. I mean, it sort of is, but I might have some in this room too, actually. And for the sake of argument, in case I do get more brews... Quickly switch gear. Yeah, Knight showed me that the other day, or maybe it was the Squatch. One of the two. If you power an armor stand, you will be able to quickly swatch all your armor at once. Redstone, drop of luck, will of bat, tongue of talk, bell of john, mandrake root. Okay. Yeah, Winter Batby definitely wants her own crystal ball. Well, I'm not giving you the one I have. You'll get your own in due time, my friend. In due time. There we go. The redstone soup is ready. Please grab me some water bottles. Okay, if I'm lucky, I'll get more than one. I'm pretty sure you can't. Yeah, no, you can't. Redstone soup. Very good. Okay, so with our redstone soup, we now need to make happenstance oil, which you get by... Potion of... Okay, another mandrake root at the end. That's fine and dandy. Actually, let me read that again. Potion of night vision, eye of ender, golden carrot, spider eye. Okay, so potion. Do we have a night vision potion of eight minutes? 
We have a night vision potion of three minutes. We can just add redstone to that, and we're good to go. Seems a slight bit wasteful, but trust me, it'll be okay. Then we need an eye of ender. Got lots of those. Then we need a golden carrot. The spider's eye. It's fun being cool and witchy, isn't it? Oh, no, those are the infestation remedies that I might need in the future if I head back to the end. Oh, what? Did you just teleport Crystal Shadows in? What are you doing here? I can't talk to you. You're just kind of hanging out, huh? She knows stuff's going on. Oh, by the way, I forgot to fill up my cauldron again. Well, it's nice to have a friend around. See, what did I tell you? Minecraft, solving loneliness, one witch at a time. Don't quote me. That, that could be very bad out of context. Fair enough. Okay, Red Sun, so Potion of Night Vision. Eye Vendor, Golden Carrot, Spider Eye, Mandrake Root. Okay, yeah, I forgot to do the night vision thing. I got a bit distracted by a random friend showing up out of nowhere. Toad, please get away from the brewing stand. If the princess is not in another castle, we'll ask for your services later. Cecil, though, uh, what's up? Uh, it's, it's a little bit weird, you know? You never see any male witches around, but uh, here I am, right? Uh... You know, not that, uh, not that I'm hitting on you, really. I just, you know, was describing our friendship as interesting. Uh, hopefully there's no hard feelings there. I mean, we're colleagues, right? Keep it professional. Have some cake, why don't you? This cake will last forever. Uh, okay, guess she's not into cake. Sure. I, you know what, more cake for me, right? In fact, it'll never run out as long as you're not a pig, so that's cool. Okay, so redstone soup, night vision, eye vendor, golden carrot, spider eye, mandrake root, and it's ready to go. And you only get one happenstance oil. Well, that's kind of too bad. I do enjoy me some brews. And it is becoming nighttime, exactly like we need it to be. All right, so speaking of happenstance oil... Uh, Whoa, little toady, where are you going? You hold on, okay? Gotta wrangle me a toad friend. I know you were in the way for brewing, but trust me, I'd rather have you on that side of the room than getting killed by Enderman. So you kind of sit, okay? Very good. You stay there? You stay there, toady? Very good. Now, just because I don't have a toad familiar doesn't mean I don't like toads. All right, we still need a quartz sphere. Which is right here. Okay, I should be able to just shift-click that recipe if I'm lucky. It's a little expensive, but seeing as I totally destroyed the roof of that other quartz tower, we've we've got what we need. Nobody finds it weird that I've just kind of got my friend sitting in there, right? Okay, so now that I got happenstance oil, and it's nighttime, let's double-check what the recipe calls for. Quartz Sphere, Gold Ingot, Happenstance Oil, and 2,000 power. Now, I don't know if the altar itself is losing power, because I already, you know, <laughs> used 8,000 of it to get a cat. So we're going to have to double-check that we've actually still got 2,000 power. Furthermore, wearing these witches... Oh. Hello, Morgana Blackwood. What do you think of my house? You should really not stand in that cauldron. You're not mad at me, are you? It was your own fault. I mean... You know, so what if it's silly house design to leave a cauldron out in the open? It's your silly feet that walked you into it. No offense. Um, no offense meant. Uh, let's see here. Oh, right. There we go. As much as I do like my witch's robes, I like being able to fly, which is obviously a li little bit more powerful than we're used to here. So our altar is still at 10,000 power. Good. It's nighttime. Looks like we can infuse us a crystal ball. 
for my friend here. One, two, three, go, go, go. Crystal ball. I should be able to give this to Winter Backby, or whatever the heck, heck, whatever the heck her name is, and we've completed her quest, I believe. <laughs> I will join your coven. Call me when you have need. Fabulous. Uh, really quickly though, what uh, what sort of witchcraft circle magics need super duper witchy things? <laughs> Infuse a stone to communicate in a coven. Perform at night. I'm gonna need more happenstance oil to even use my coven in the first place. Well, we already saw how to make that. Um, I'll assume that's nothing special. Uh, off screen, I'm gonna make that. Uh, let's really quickly go through and see what we can do with a coven. Let's see here. Oh, what's that? Curse of blindness makes nearby creatures blind. Tune star. Hmm. That'd be interesting, except you specifically need it to work in a special place. Curses are looking pretty awesome. But... I'm not sure where we would find the things that actually require covens. Let's see here. Let's go back a bit. I did infusions. I did demons. All right, let's see here. Oh, there we go. I can change what biome I'm in. Well, that could be useful for um, bees, for example. But I don't know if actually, uh, <laughs> you know, killing a frog and a an owl is worth it, because that's kind of sad. No. Create an icy sphere, coven of two or more. That could be cool. Yeah. Call all animals, coven of three or more. Oh, maybe that spawns new animals. I'd be willing to try that one. Seems quite interesting. That one might be able to summon a specific player. Seems a bit expensive, though. Uh, let's see here. Bind up the three spectral creatures of the same type into a spectral stone. Wish I knew how to do that. I'm going to have to look up how you, you know, bind creatures, because there's some other really interesting things we can do. But as far as I know, there's not all that much, except that having witches is awesome. So, see you next time, guys.